हेलो टू एवरीवन अनदर एक्साइटिंग एपिसोड ऑफ मैच पॉइंट बाय डॉक्टर अरदान क्रिकेट की बेतहाशा न्यूज के साथ एक नया मैच पॉइंट लेके आ गए हैं आपके पास और होंगी खबरें मेरे पास पाकिस्तान सुपर लीग श्रीलंका वर्सेस साउथ अफ्रीका एंड व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन द सीजन 4 इन यूनाइटेड अरब एमिरेट्स वेदर इट इज शारजा और वेदर इट इज दुबई दिस विल बी कवर्ड इन द मैच पॉइंट द फर्स्ट हेडलाइन आई विल टेक यू towards the international scene what's going on with the south africa where pakistan was helpless to beat them team sri lanka did that which pakistan is unable to do since 2007 yes now the biggest headline and the first headline team sri lanka beat south africa by the one wicket by the mere one wicket and this is the third instance in the history of cricket south africa that south africa lost the test match with a curse of one wicket so let's go to the other news kuch ho raha hai halchal ho rahi hai india aur pakistan ki kya ho rahi hai india kya kar raha hai kya badak badi chal rahi hai i will let you know in the headlines punjab cricket association has removed the photographs of pakistan famous cricketers imran khan wasim akram javed miyazad Shahid Khan Afridi from the galleries long rooms receptions and the hall of fame area of the Mohali Stadium nach na jaane angan tera ji ha isme main yahi kahunga main bada helpless hu is bebasi pe india ki ke jo ye tasveerein utarne wala mamla hai ye kuch theek nahi hai khud india ke jo followers hain who are following cricket in india they are also not liking this attitude of the board of cricket control of india लेकिन यही सच है जो कि है मैच पॉइंट की हेडलाइन शेन वॉटसन इज नाउ द हाईएस्ट ओवरसीज स्कोरर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ पाकिस्तान सुपर लीग 784 रन्स इन मेयर 27 इनिंग्स एट द एवरेज ऑफ 32.66 विद अ अमेजिंग स्ट्राइक रेट ऑफ 131.44 टेक अ बॉल आई एम श्योर दैट शेन वॉटसन व्हिच इज known to uh, shane watson and his team kota gladiators which has been known to be the english team of the world cup so this is the english team of the pakistan super league eventually losing the grand finale not one time but the two times in the death matches and that was because of this trump card we say shane watson because shane watson never agreed to play in pakistan and that's why kota gladiators had to pay the price in the past the next big headline is will be the disappointment for the mohammad hafeez fans mohammad hafeez of the pakistan cricket team the famous one uh, getter for the pakistan in the t20s and the this previous t20 captain is out of the pakistan super league because of his hand injury lahore clanders has confirmed that sandeep lamishan kore anderson david weis will be joining the squad soon and they will bring the replacement captain until then ab divisions will take on the uh, reins but till then the replacement will be coming so we will see that whether lamishan and david weis can do the wonders for rana saab lahore clanders or not but the biggest replacement which has been made for the lahore clanders so far 
Salman Butt is back in the cricket scenario. He was already playing the uh, cricket. He was involved in the Pakistan Divisional A game. But right now, Pakistan Super League, no doubt the Pakistan's biggest brand right now in the sports industry and the fashion industry, whatever you can say, uh, with the help of the Pakistan Super League, Pakistan is promoting its image and his image. Pakistan's image is improving and now in the Pakistan's biggest league, Super League, Salman Butt is back in the international team with the courtesy of Pakistan Super League and he is being in the included in the Lahore Kalandar squad of the 2019 PSL. What Wakar Genius Pakistan's legendary bowler says, Burewala Express says that once PSL is fully in the Pakistan, it will be probably one of the biggest league and might be crossing the Indian Premier League. Now, eight matches have been played uh, in the Pakistan Super League this year in the Pakistan and might be next year. Who knows? All the matches would have been coming to the Pakistan. Door Darshan Sports, DD Sports have boycotted the Pakistan Super League broadcast. The broadcast was seen in the India. India ke Kulo Arz mein Bharat mein jo dekhi jari thi Pakistan Super League. That was with the courtesy of DD Sports. Door Darshan has now banned Pakistan Super League and no more uh, it's been broadcast there because of the Palwana attack. Australian fast bowler Pat Cummings has overtaken Kejiso Rabada to take the top spot in the ICC Test Bowling Rankings now. Cummings is the first Australian batsman from his country since Glenn McGrath, the great McGrath, has grabbed this spot last time in 2006. After the 2006 Glenn McGrath grabbing the top spot, none of the Australian bowlers has achieved this spot. And now, Pat Cummings is the one who regained the spot after 13 years after the McGrath, uh, McGrath's last winning award. Kusal Pereira, he has advanced an astonishing 58 places in the ICC Test Betting Rankings after the memorable performance helping his team of a thrilling one-wicket victory over the South Africa in the Durban. The left-handed Pereira reached the career best of 40th position after 15 tests. What a great achievement for him. And when we are talking about Pakistan Super League, we are talking about pace. The pace which is the hall of, hallmark of the Pakistan team. The Pakistan ka ek, ek jata hai, trademark, the pace battery. Whether it is the Imran Khan, whether it is Vaseem Akram, Bakar Junas, Shweb Bakhtar, Azhar Mahmood, uh, Abdul Razak. Lekin, now, the missing of this missile, they was missing so far in the Pakistan team. Pakistani bowlers were unable to bowl at 140 kilometers. They were unable to touch the speed since the last four or five months. The maximum speed generated by the Pakistani spacemen was 134 and 133 kilometers. In this Umid Ki Kiran Samne Aiyye, ugly headline. Isi Umid Ki Kiran Ke Bare Mein Hai. Haris Rao, a talented young cricketer from Lahore Kalandar, is generating the pace in uh, Pakistan Super League Season 4 at the average speed of 142 km per hour. Take a ball! And I was uh, very happy and extremely delighted after seeing the thunder in this young boy and soon the show will start. I will give you the details what Haris Rauf has done, what Akib Javed says. Akib Javed said, Haris has a talent and I am very confident that he will break the speed barrier of Shweb Akhtar, the fastest ball ever in the cricket. He has the potential, he has the ability to become one of the fastest in the world, crossing Brett Lee, Homo, I mean Jeff Thompson and uh, Shweb Akhtar. इसके बाद अगली हेडलाइन दोबारा जंप करते हैं पुरोस्तों की जाने क्योंकि हमें भी बहुत मजा आता है पुरोस्तों की बात करने में सौरव गेंगुली कुछ फरमा रहे हैं देखते हैं कि सौरव गेंगुली क्या कहते हैं सौरव गेंगुली ये सेंग दिस इज अ टेन टीम वर्ल्ड कप एंड एवरी टीम प्लेस एवरी टीम एंड आई फील इफ इंडिया don't play with Pakistan and lose two points means India is through to the last four. 
तो नो नीड टू प्ले पाकिस्तान गुरूर का सर नीचा गुरूर मेरे अल्लाह को पसंद नहीं है लेकिन सौरभ गेंगुली का कहना यह है कि इंडिया की टीम सेंट परसेंट परफॉर्म करेगी और एक मैच छोड़ने से फर्क नहीं पड़ता टीम ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेन वॉच एट दियर पी Along with the West Indies in the 1996 World Cup, I am the eyewitness of that dance in LA. Also, when Negra and Shane Ward was beaten up around the ground in the Qatari Stadium with the courtesy of Rovinda De Silva and Rana Tonga, in that match, in the, in that scenario, in that World Cup, there were two teams: Team West Indies and Team Australia. They refused to play in the Sri Lanka because of the security condition and. The team Australia at that time skipper Mark Killer says that we will be in the grand finale and we will be picking the cup. We don't need to go to Sri Lanka and we are not bothered about two points. What happened next? They didn't go to Sri Lanka, but what he said, he did it. They qualified for the quarter final. They qualified for the semi final. First time in the World Cup history, quarter finals were included. Then they reached the grand finale. What happened next? We will ask Shane Warne and Glenn Medra if he had a chance to meet them. They were beaten up by the team Sri Lanka in front of the packed 32,522 people saw in the crowd in the Kadhafi Stadium, rubbing the clap for the Arjuna Ranatunga, and the team Australia was beaten in front of the uh, uh, Pakistani crowd. By the hands of the Arjuna Rana Tonga, Sri Lanka. So Gurur ka sar nicha. Saurav Ganguly uh, have said that, but we still have to see that what happens next when India will leave the game. If India has to leave the game, you can leave the knockout game also if there is a chance. Shahid Afridi ka keh rahe hain. Shahid Afridi says that regarding the Reliance IMG's group, I want to tell you a very important news. For this Pakistan Super League, might be a lot of you would not be knowing this transmission which you are seeing on your television screen and the pictures which you are seeing in the match point. These are with the courtesy of IMG Reliance Group, which is the biggest group and the producers group which is producing the Pakistan Super League season four, and they are controlling all the drones, cameras, and stuff. They are the very strong potential and the very strong marketing influential. Uh, squads to cover such kind of league, and they have left Pakistan Super League in between to deny to cover the Pakistan Super League, saying that Pulwama attack. They want to condemn, and they left Pakistan alone in spite of taking full payment. And what happens next? They say Allah rakhe se koon sakte. They left Pakistan. They left the team. They left the uh, all the scenario. They left the tournament, and then the gap came because the after the first leg, the PSL was going to shift in Sharjah from Dubai, and when team uh, teams reaching over there, uh, so uh, this actually what I wanted to say for the IMG Reliance Group that this is about your education and your brought up. That what you have learned over the year, and they have showed that where is their education and what they have learned. But they were never knowing that the show must go on. Blitz and the Trust Group, which is I think 100 times better than the IMG Reliance Group, is ready to cover Pakistan Super League, and now it's on their way, and they are covering the second leg live from Dubai. Well done to the Pakistan Cricket Board. Of having the new contract in such a short period and in such a drastic time, when there was a danger of not the uh, of having the no broadcast for the Pakistan Super League, a report states that BCCI is written to the ICC requesting that the Pakistan team must be removed from the 2019 Cricket World Cup tournament. La hola wala. Shahid Afridi says that many things have been tried by them in the past. Even uh, the bad tactics by the IPL organizers and the BCCI have done. They have threatened the players by saying that if you play in the PSL, your uh, contract would be cancelled. लेकिन क्या ही अच्छा है और क्या ही मजे की बात है कि international players जो हैं वो भारत की विदर भक्तियों में नहीं आए and none of them 
they refused to play in the Pakistan Super League, which was according to the plan. Huh. If someone uh, was uh, committed somewhere, uh, some of the players who were playing for their team, then they missed the Pakistan Super League. Otherwise, there were no reasons to come under the influence of Board of Cricket Control of India or the Indian team. PSL is to introduce a new thing. What's the new thing? The last headline. PSL have to introduce the mid-season trade window. This has been first time introduced in the Pakistan Super League Season 4. Window will open later on this week and this will allow you and allow all the teams to exchange two players. But those two players should be unused. If they would have been used, they can trade in this window. But unused players can be traded in this window. But this window will be active for only 48 hours. So it will be just like a chess game. Within 48 hours, you have to decide that you are going to trade your man or you are not going to trade your man. So before going to the break, there is a time for the trivia factor. And what's the trivia for the today's date? Back in the 1992, the most colorful World Cup of the history of the game. When first time the flamboyant colors we have seen, the jerseys we have seen for the players. First color World Cup 1992, which was picked up finally by the Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan that was commencing and kicked off in Auckland in 1992 in today's day and Martin Crow rest in peace smashing 100 not out and helping New Zealand to win against the arch rivals Australia and then defending champions Australia by the 37 runs in front of the 28,000 packed crowd all the nine teams have played against each other and that was the best format so far in the World Cup which we say the round robin league in which every team has to play to the other team and do you know that what's next before going to the break this year in the World Cup teams will follow this format this will be the second time in the history of cricket when teams will be applying the round robin format and every team will have to play against the every every other team so we will soon progress to the Pakistan Super League matches. One to one, we will discuss these matches and we will tell you what happened when Springboks were beaten by the Lanka Tigers. But you will have to stay tuned to the match point. You can follow me on the Twitter and Instagram, DRADNANKHAN, and you can follow me on the Facebook and the YouTube with the same page, Greatest Empire USA. I will take a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back after a short break. As I told you, that when we come back from the break, we will discuss Pakistan Super League match to match, match number one, match number two, match number three. Some of the matches we have discussed, but we will discuss from where we have left the discussion. So, match which was important match, which was Kings versus Sultan, Karachi Kings versus Multan Sultan, where Kings have won the match by seven runs. Kings made 183 for six with the courtesy of. Uh, Lion 82 and Babar Azam 77 while Sultans went to the chase and 176 for 9 with a 52 by the Malik and 49 by Evans which was not enough to save the match against the King. T20 bowling was seen at its best. Mohammed Amit taking the 4 scalp and he gave away 25 runs in the 4 overs and this was the case to win for Karachi with a brilliant bowling of Amir to bring back in the game. So Multan Sultan after this match was uh, at the very pitiful stage because their last five matches if I count lost, 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 lost if we go to the Pakistan Super League Year 3. The next match which is a very important match that was the best of the best, the art rivals, the India-Pakistan of Pakistan Super League. Zalmis versus Gladiators. Sarfaraz versus Darren Sani, the only skipper in the PSL who is having the equal importance of the Pakistani skippers or might be having more importance than the rest of the Pakistani skippers. The Zalmis 
डरन सेमी खान एंड वॉट हैपन ग्लैटिएटर वॉज टू गुड टू बीट फॉर द जेलमी ग्लैटिएटर विनिंग द मैच बाई सिक्स विकेट जेलमी इज मेड वन फिफ्टी फाइव रन फॉर द लॉस ऑफ फोर विकेट कामरान अकबल एंड मिसबाहुल हक द कॉन्कर टाइगर ऑफ द पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट टीम हैज मेड बोथ मेड फोर्टी नाइन रन बट द मिसबाहुल हक फोर्टी नाइन रन वॉज अन बीटन एंड ही वॉज नॉट आउट ऑफ ओनली थर्टी टू बॉल्स Nawaz was the pick of the bowlers with the two wickets Kota chasing at the 19.4 over but the main myth factor of winning the match was the younger Akmal Umar Akmal with a brilliant 75 not out putting Zalmis out of the match and out of the competition so Wahab took two wickets but not enough most wickets in the PSL history to go Wahab Riaz is now on the 50 and Islamabad United Mohammad Sami is on the 38 while Nawaz on 32 and Mohammad Amir and Phil Khan on 33 75 not out on 50 balls a responsible mature and match winning innings from the younger Akmal Umar Akmal was on the fire he was in the blast after long time i have seen him playing such kind of innings if only pakistan cricket has seen over the years we are seeing that umar akmal should have performed and he couldn't perform for pakistan and let's see he franchise he changed the franchise and how he delivered soon coming from the calendar his fate has got a change i think in this pakistan super league next game was united versus sultan sultan winning the game with a five wicket and finally after the five losses on the trot from the last psl finally shweb malik sultan sultan took a sigh of relief united make 125 for 7 with a luke ronkis 50 and then the crucial wicket of luke ronki and a brilliant catch you can't keep lala shahid khan afridi boom boom out of the game and two wickets by afridi and two wickets by ali shafiq ali shafiq who is ali shafiq 22 year old pacer ali shafiq super figures for four overs and 11 uh, runs he have given for two wickets in his first ever pakistan super league match shaun masood 21 and malik 31 easily chased home the match in 18.4 overs 22 year ali shafiq was the man of the match and was the pick of the bowlers his first ever psl taking two for 11 from his only four overs and what he say who is his hero not to see matra not pakar ji not to say matra who can put the yorker at his will this is the aim of ali shafiq let's see what he will do so quickly we will jump uh, to the other match and then i will come back to the pakistan super league we will jump to the important match which i have told you in the headline sri lanka versus south africa to so, salz pereira 153 not out is the highest fourth innings total by a batsman versus south africa in a successful chase this is the only third instance as i told you that south africa has lost the test match by the one wicket 153 not out by kushal pereira out of 304 for 9 the score of sri lanka the half of the score was of the kushal pereira and sri lanka defeat south africa in a style and as i have told you what pakistan couldn't do since 2007 and this has to be one of the greatest innings of all the time last wicket stand kushal parara and vishwa fernando was 78 runs in which the number 11 scored only 6 runs so just see the importance of the player who made him play along with him and next as i told you i will jump to the pakistan super league but our producers are not allowing me to cross the time because we are short of time but i promise you when next time i will come you i will come you on the next matches when salman bhat will be joining the clunders lemi shan he will be back in that team he will be joining clunders and we will see what wonder rana fawaz clunders and clundri team can do or not still fingers crossed what happens next can sultan and kalandar jump to the top spot or still story will be the same will story will be the same like the pakistan super league season 1 2 3 like jalmis and gladiators on the top or whether we can see the wonders from the firing team of lala boom boom 
and the veteran player Shweb Malik Sultan. But this you will have to do on a match point. Match points you can see on the EFRs on your Jadu and IPTV boxes. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, here at ADN and KHA and you can give your suggestion, you can talk to me and you can message me, you can inbox me and of course you can follow us on the YouTube and the Facebook page, Greatest Empire USA. अगर जिंदगी रही तो दोबारा अगले हफ्ते दोबारा इसी वक्त यही मुलाकात होगी और हम डिस्कस करेंगे व्हाट हैपन नेक्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट राउंड मैचेस एज द लीग वुड हैव बीन शिफ्टेड टू द शारजा सो टेक केयर एंड बाय बाय Responsible for a deal with a